Good morning, Modern Setters. We have a mission to do this morning. I've been waiting for this ever since last summer, and now is the time to do it. You ready, Pluto? Are you two fighting? Ooh. Look at you two. They're in a beast attack mode. What? All right, for our mission, we are going to need a set of gloves. I gotta find some piano wire. The piano wire is always fun to cut. Let's see if we can cut it with those pliers. Ouch. This stuff's pretty rugged. All right, I think that'll be long enough. I'll we'll go one more. All right, that should do it. Now we're just gonna see if we can cut it. Oop. This end. What? It was already cut. Perfect. You think you're coming outside? Okay, we'll bring you. Put the pliers back. Grab my piano wire. Our gloves. I think that'll do it. You ready to go out? Let's go. Wrong way, this way. Ready? Mm. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. It's kind of crazy. The roof is right there. The snow is so high. All right, this is the project. We had some wasps build a nest on the side of the house last year. And I said to myself, that would be kind of neat to take it off and to have it. Come on. I must admit, I'm a teeny bit nervous about taking down the wasp nest. They say if it's up throughout the winter, they're gonna freeze and die. But who are they and what do they know? I don't know who they are and if I can trust them. It's been a cold winter, so I'm hoping that all the wasps, I believe it's a mud wasp nest, are dead and gone, and I don't get stung. All right, let's go get the ladder and get on to the project. This could be fun, it might not be. Right, Plodo? All right, the ladder is right here. This one is not gonna be tall enough. This one will be too tall, but we'll make it work. Here goes nothing. Whew, nothing in there that I can hear. So what I'm thinking is I can take the piano wire, score it up high and it back against the house and see if we can get it to come off in one piece. If I destroy it, I destroy it, 
but I hope we don't. But if we do, at least we got it off the house. So, we'll find out, fingers crossed. There's nothing alive in there. There shouldn't be, but you never know. Well, I don't gotta worry about my ladder going anywhere. It's locked in a snowbank. But this, I, I don't know. Got the piano wire. Here we go. Try to take it down without dropping it. Ha <laughs> ha, I like it. Let's bring it in the outdoor kitchen and we can take a peek at it. Oh. Let's bring it in the kitchen and we'll look at it, but we'll get in the kitchen for now. Set it down here for a minute and we'll go clean up the rest of the house and then we'll come back and take a peek at it. I want to try to get that house cleaned up a little bit better before I, or while the ladder's still out there. Let's go do that. All right, let's get this cleaned up a little bit nicer. All right. That's going to be the best, that's the best we can get it. I'll have to power wash it this summer, but that's pretty darn good. It's like 14 degrees out right now and it's supposed to warm up to 40 later on today. <sighs> Crazy weather. I dug it out of the snowbank the other day when we moved the location of our weather station. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that video right here. Take a look at this thing a little bit better. Wow, oh, that's crazy. I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to cut the top off like I did to get it down, but that was stuck to the house really good. Look in there, that's wild. Wow, that's just so crazy. The material that this is made out of is like paper. Not quite, but pretty darn close into thinking animal made that. I can see one little bee in there, a wasp, whatever it is. I can't, wow, I can't pull and pry it to get in there and see it better. I'll bring you up close in a minute and show it to you, but this is just wild. I've never seen inside of a wasp nest like this. Usually I'm too scared to go close to them. You walk up to them and they're humming. You can just hear the wasps in there. You got the bottom hole. So I don't know if that was from something trying to get in there or what. And then you got the front hole. That was their house. I don't know if they're like bees and they like to have two escape routes or if something ate into that. Cause this hole looks like it was made when they made the nest. And that one kind of looks like it's been torn into. So that's interesting. The material that this is made out of is just crazy. I've never seen anything like that that was made by an animal. That's just wild.
Look at that. Let's show you this hole up close again. See how it's got like tear marks in it? So I don't know what that's from. Because this hole in the front, I'm just amazed. Let's get it focused in on it. That front hole is made that way. Look at that. I wonder how long and how many wasp or bees it took to make this. That's just wild. All right, let's flip it over and see if we can zoom in and see if I can show you that bee that's in there. Maybe I can get him out. You can't see him in. Let's see. All right, let's see if I can use my knife and get out this guy. Let's tip it this way. So that way if he falls, he falls out. There we go. Awesome. That is what we're dealing with. We got a little baby one right here. It looks like a yellow jacket or just a mean old wasp. Man, them things ain't good for nothing. Except for making a cool nest, I should say that. Let me get the snow out of here. Oh man, where'd he go? Right here. And then the little guy is right here. All right. That's a little, it looks like a fly, but if you look at the back of them, you can see the yellow and black striping. So leave it in the comments down below and let me know what kind of bee or wasp this guy is. Yellow jacket or what? Focus. That's just crazy. Oh, look at that. We got another one. We got two of them. Sweet. And I bet you there's a lot more in this nest. Kind of heavy. If I shake it, I don't hear anything rattling. But I planned on taking it down and keeping it and mounting it somewhere. Like I could mount it up on the top of the ceiling of the outdoor kitchen. We could just have it hanging in a corner. That would look pretty neat, wouldn't it? You know, I'll shellac it and deter any other yellow jackets or wasps from living in there. Because we wouldn't want that. But that'd be kind of a neat little ornament to have in the corner of the outdoor kitchen. But now that we kind of can see in it a little bit and the material it's made out of, I'm kind of wondering what it looks like inside. I think it'd be kind of neat to find out what's inside of a wasp nest. I've never seen that before firsthand. So I don't know what to do. The video is getting kind of long, so we're not going to do it in today's video. I'll tell you what, um, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know if I should mount it in the outdoor kitchen or if we should cut into it. I'll tell you what, you guys leave it in the comments down below of what you think we should do with this nest. And leave it in the comments down below what kind of nest you think it is. Are those yellow jackets, mud wasps? I'm not sure, but we're either going to mount it or we're going to cut into it and find out what's inside. So let's figure that out together. Leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for coming on our crazy journey with us today. If you're new to the channel, now is a great opportunity for you to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the crazy stuff we do here. While you're down there, ring the bell. YouTube may or may not let you know every time we upload a video, go live, or post something to the community tab. They're kind of funny like that lately. So there's a two things to do. One, go on over to lumnaacres.com, sign up for our newsletter, we'll keep you up to date there. And number two is, remember, we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Leave it in the comments down below. What are we gonna do with this nest? We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.